What is going on everybody? Tech3Zast here and in this video I'm going to show you how to play Transformers War for Cybertron on your Steam Deck and we're going to install it as a non-Steam game and on top of that I'll also show you how to play it at 60 frames per second. Now with that being said let's get started. So firstly we need to be on the desktop mode and transfer a game over to the Steam Deck. There are a few ways to do that. Anyway, we're going to open the Dolphin file browser and in the downloads folder, this is where I have my game. So this is an ISO which I extracted and we need to install the exe shown here. Now under home, I created a folder called games and this is basically where I want the game to install. Obviously, you can install it wherever you want or call the folder whatever you want. Next, we need to open the discovery store and search for Lutris. So Lutris is an open source software and to put it simply, it allows you to install games that may no longer be available on Steam. Or you can install non-Steam games. So this could take a few minutes, I've just sped up the video here. So once that has finished, we can close the store. And then we're going to click on the Steam icon and we're going to search or look for Lutris. Now when we open Lutris for the very first time, you should see under Runners, there are a few dependencies downloading. There are several and these need to install. If you don't see this, uninstall Lutris and install it again because if it doesn't install all of these files, Lutris is not going to work correctly and this should take less than a minute. Once that has finished, we're going to tap on the plus icon. There are a few options here. So I'm going to select install a Windows game from an executable. And then under game name, I'm going to call it WFC, short for War for Cybertron. And then tap on install. Then install a game. And here is the directory that it's going to be installing to. And I'm just going to leave the rest unchecked. Tap on continue. So you might see this pop up where it's basically installing a Proton version. So this should take less than a minute. I've sped up the video again. Once that finishes, we're going to tap on the icon here to select the exe file. So I'm already in the Transformers folder and this is basically the file that we need to install. Tap on that. We should see a little pop-up. And then it should start the installation process. And here we're going to tap on OK. Then next. So this is the default directory where it's going to install. So I'm going to go to Browse. Then under Z Drive. Then Home. Deck then games, then tap on OK. Now here the name, I'm going to change it from War for Cybertron and call it WFC without any spaces. And this is basically to get the 60 FPS tool working. I'll demonstrate that later on in the video. So I'm just going to uncheck that and then click on next and then install. So this could take maybe about 10 minutes or so. So I'm just going to speed up the video to the end of the installation. So once that has finished, I'm just going to check install Visual C++ and then click on finish. Then on the installer, I'm going to click on yes. And this window should close automatically. And then we're going to click on close. Now on the game here, I'm going to right click and then go to configure. So under game info, by default, the runner should say wine. Then we're going to go to game options and we need to basically locate the executable file. Now before we do that, now if you have the same version as mine, basically this game is no longer available on Steam. We need to do one extra step. So we need to go back to the original folder. In this folder, then binaries, 
Then I'm going to copy this exe file, then go to the install folder, then again in binaries, delete the exe file from here, then paste the exe file that we copied from the installer folder. Now we're going to go back to Lutris. So right click again, go to configure. So under game options, this time we're going to look at the exe file. So I'm already in the binaries folder. So select that, then tap or well, click on OK. Then on the working directory, we're going to point it towards the uh, uh, binary folder. So under games, transformers, then binaries. And then we're going to click on save. Now if you click on play, the game should work, but it doesn't. Now there is a fix for that. So I'm going to right click and go to configure. And basically we need to install physics. So this is the way that I install it. You may have another method. So we're going to go up one folder, then go into the redist folder and install physics from here. So select it, click on OK then save now i know there may be an option from wine tricks but i'm going to use the physics that comes with the game so tap on we'll click on play and it should run the physics installer click on accept then next once that finishes click on finish then we need to configure it again so under game options, we need to basically point it towards the game exe and then save. Now before I do that, I just want to show you the runner options. It is default to the potent version that I installed before. System options, we're going to leave that alone. Click on save. Now click on play and the game should launch now. Yep, here it is. And after a few seconds, it will go into full screen. So now we know that the game is working. We need to exit it. So I'm going to press Alt and Tab on my keyboard and then stop on Lutris. And then the final thing we need to do now is basically right click on the game and then create Steam Shortcut. So I'm just going to click on the bottom right hand corner to show desktop. And we're going to go into gaming mode. Back in gaming mode, we need to find the game. So we're just going to head over to our library. Then on the top, we need to scroll to non-Steam. And here is the game. So before launching the game, we don't need to go into the properties and change any of the potent version. We can just launch it as it is. And as you can see, the game is loading up. So what I'm going to do now is just skip all of this and go into the gameplay. And here it is, Transformers War for Cybertron running on the Steam Deck at its native 30 frames per second. Now you may notice that every time you launch the game, you can't skip the intro. And there is sort of a fix for that, which I'll show you right now. And I'll also show you how to play the game in 60 frames per second. So what we're going to do is go back into desktop mode. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do now is go to our games folder. So for me, that's in home then a folder called games, go into the transformers folder, then a folder called trans game, and then movies folder. So what we could do is delete the movie files or put them in a separate folder, which is probably more convenient. So what I'm going to do is right click and create a new folder. We can give it a name, but I'm just going to leave it as default for the sake of this video. Then we're going to scroll down and select several files. So pay attention. So the first one is FMV Intro PC, then Logo Activision PC, Logo Activision, Logo Hasbro PC, Logo High Moon PC, and lastly TF Initial Startup. So I'm going to right click, cut, then go into the folder, then right click and paste. Now if we go back, these files shouldn't be there any longer. 
All right, next we're going to go into our binaries folder. You'll notice there are two new files here, twfctool.exe and twfc60fps.bat. So the tool is basically to get the game running at 60fps and the bat file is basically to launch the tool and the exe at the same time, as you can see from the command here. Now, if you'll notice my game name, I shortened it earlier in the video and this is because the tool wouldn't run with the longer file name, possibly because of the spacing. So pay attention to the file directory. It needs to point to the game exe and the tool exe files. If your you know, path is exactly the same as mine, then it should work perfectly. So what I'll do is leave a link to the files in the description. Make sure you put it in the binaries folder. Okay, we can go ahead and close that. Then we're going to go and open Lutris. Then we're going to configure. Then go to game options. And then we're going to change the executable. And this time we're going to select the bat file. Click on OK and then save. Let's do a quick test run. Click on play. The game has launched, which is great. And here is the 60 FPS tool. All right, I'm just gonna stop it now. And we can close Lutris and then go back into gaming mode. Okay, so you're probably noticing that I've got the custom artwork here. And basically I've gone ahead and added the artwork and that was thanks to the Steam Grid plugin you can do a Google search and find out more information about that. I've also given it the proper name. So what you need to do is click on the cogwheel icon here, then go to properties. Then on the top, give it the desired name. And then you can just back out. So let's just launch the game. Now, when you do that, the 60 FPS tool should open as well. And you've got about seven, eight seconds to quickly go and select the desired frames per second. And then it's going to disappear. And you'll also notice that there was no intro. It went straight into the title menu. Now, if you look at the top left hand corner, you can see that the game is running at 60 frames per second. Okay, so that wraps up for this fairly long video, but as you can see, you can get this game up and running with 60 frames per second. Now, if you have found this video useful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, thanks for watching, and I will catch up with you in the next video. Honor is all yours.